sister and defender of the Crystal Castle. This is Spirit, my beloved steed. Fabulous secrets were revealed to me the day I held aloft my sword and said, For the honor of Grayskull! A few others share this secret. Among them are Light Hope, Madam Raz, and Cowl. Together, we and my friends of the Great Rebellion strive to free Etheria from the evil forces of Horda. Something tells me disaster is approaching. Oh, oh dearie my. I do believe we'd better land. That's what I'm trying to do. Adora, look out. You know, we really should practice more. Or, or, or move to where there are no trees. What's wrong, Adora? You seem upset. Well, I received this letter from Lana. Oh, is that the girl who used to be a helper in the Horde? Yes, she was my second in command, and my friend. Hordak is going to send her to the slave pits on Horde World. Oh, no. Why? He blames her for my leaving the Horde. I've got to help her. That means a visit to the Fright Zone. Oh, dearie my, I'd better start studying some spells. No, madam. This has nothing to do with the Rebellion. No, it's personal. I'm going alone. Oh, no, you're not. Cowl and I are going with you. Uh, me, me? I don't recall volunteering. I appreciate the offer, Bo, but my mind's made up. Oh, you're absolutely right, Adora. Fright Zone's no place for a sensitive fellow like me. She is so stubborn. And as for you... Uh, uh, forgive me, dear boy. I guess I'm not a hero at heart. I guess you aren't. <laughs> of course, but it does keep me from doing the stupid things you do. We'll get to the Fright Zone faster as She-Ra and Swift win. Ah, I could use a good flight. For the honor of Grayskull! She-Ra, she Fright Zone! Up, Swift Wind! We better walk the rest of the way. We don't want to risk being spotted by a horde flyer. Oh, no! This place could win first prize in an ugly contest. Easily. Anything can happen here, so keep your eyes... Oh, Shira! Shira! Shira, where are you? Shira, thank goodness. Uh, my, you're a, a mess. I know, I know, but I can fix that. Stand back. That's better. Let's get moving before some other monster decides to get grabby. <laughs> I don't know how I let you talk me into this foolishness. Adora said she wanted to go to the Fright Zone alone. <laughs> and so she did. But she never said we couldn't follow her there. 
Oh, I hate it when you have an answer for everything. It's a Tyrosaur. I thought they only lived on Beast Island. Do we fly or fight? Neither. Shira, what are you doing? Steady now, big fellow. <coughs> Steady. <coughs> its wing is hurt. It's in pain. I have to heal it. Be careful! Don't be afraid. I just want to touch you. Feel better? <laughs> oh, hey, stop. That's enough. Fly away now. Your wing's all right. I think we've made a friend, Swifty. Hmm, some friend. This place looks worse every time I see it. I'll say. You wait here. I'll go inside and find Lonnie. She doesn't know you're Shira. I'll change back to Adora once I'm in. Please be careful. I will be. You too. Shira! Well, that's a fine way to welcome a guest. I think you're cute, too. Strange. There should be guards stationed here. Adora, this way. Quick! Lonnie! I came as soon as I could. I'm glad to see I'm not too late. Oh, it was brave of you to come. You knew I would. Oh, yes, I knew. You always were a wonderful friend. Lonnie, why did you send for me? Why, why didn't you just run away? Oh, I wish I didn't have to do this. She's here. Hordak. Yeah. thought we were friends. Oh, yes. Lonnie did quite a good job, I think. <sighs> what do you want, Hordak? I'm sure by now you realize what a mistake you made going off with that rabble. <sighs> you belong here. Never! Hordak, I did what you wanted. Now will you let my father go from Beast Island? So that's why you had to trick me. I hope you can forgive me. It's all right, Lonnie. I understand now. Well, Hordak? Of course! I will release your father. Someday. Someday? You gave me your word you'd release him immediately if I... I... I don't have time to bother with these trifles. I have other things on my mind. Such as what to do with Adora. <laughs> Tricks now. Tricks? Good idea. I'll show you one with a mirror. I teach you that trick, but I'm in a hurry. Bye bye. I don't suppose you'd know where Adora might be. Uh, no, I guess you wouldn't. Thanks anyway. Put my hands up? All right. All right, I will. Oh. 
So far, so good. There he is. We've got you now. Oh, I don't know about that. Adora! Trooper! Take him! Fool! Yes! I must have our scientists improve our sleep gas! He actually managed to say something before he went to sleep. <laughs> Trooper, fetch another restraint. I will see this one goes nowhere. Adora, Cole. Oh, oh I, I know I shouldn't have come, but I couldn't stand the suspense. Oh, what can I do? Oh, that doesn't involve too much danger, of course. My sword, there on the desk. Got it. Stop, you stupid bird. I beg your pardon. Fly for it, Cowl! Out the window! Oh, no, you don't! He got away. I wouldn't smile if I were you, traitor. I couldn't care less about losing a sword. I still have you and your friend. And you're both going to Beast Island for a very, very long time. <laughs> ah, Beast Island. I always feel at home here. And how are you, my pet? Oh, enough of this softness, Hordak. I have prepared a spell woven of the deepest shadows to capture Adora's mind. Good! She must forget all about the cursed rebellion and dedicate herself to my cause. Oh, I want you to know, I almost lost a couple of tail feathers bringing this here. Oh, thank you, Cowl. Oh, do, do, don't thank me. Just, just get us out of here. I'll go find Bo. Somebody's coming. I don't have much time. For the honor of Greystone! Shira! How clever of you. Oh, where's Dora? What is this? Some kind of magic? Not at all. Look, nothing up my sleeves. Your turn. Uh, uh, gotta go. Uh, maybe another time. Make yourselves at home, gentlemen. You're going to be here a while. Well, I, I brought your bow. Now what's your plan? I'll just shoot out the lock. I, uh, ooh, I don't believe that's feasible, if you want my opinion. I don't. All I have to do is aim like this. Ooh, I see what you mean. Shira, where's Adora? That's what I want to know. I'll bet you do. To betray her again, I suppose your hordesmen are right behind you. Oh, yes, but they're after me this time. I want to free Adora before they get me. Don't worry about Adora. She's safe, and she told me about your father. Let's see about freeing him. Oh, you've let them escape. It's this 
way. Come on! Father, we've come to get you out. No, daughter. There's no way. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Oh, I think you'll find this is... Get them! <coughs> present for you. Quite the cut-up, aren't you? You really shouldn't get so wound up in things. <laughs> it looks dangerous down there. To say nothing of up here. It's not nice to sneak up behind people. This oil arrow should give you the slip. My shadow magic will tie Shira up. That's a girl, Shira. Give her a taste of her own medicine. We've gone for help. Hold on, Father. We'll get you down. Save yourself, Lonnie. You can't get me out. He's right. No one has ever been rescued from the vulture's perch. <laughs> oh, no? Just watch. Sword to lasso. Simple when you know how. Oh. <laughs> May I suggest a strategic retreat? My tail feathers are beginning to stand on end. <laughs> right as usual, Cow. Lead the way. Gladly. After them! Uh-oh. They're right behind us. swarming with hungry monsters. It's not so friendly in here, either. Well, we don't have any choice. Close it quick. No one ever goes out there. Don't worry, they'll never bother Hordak again. <laughs> It would seem the orchestra's tuning up for dinner. <laughs> I think we are the dinner. Ooh, I, I, I sure hope they're vegetarians. Let's not stick around and find out. This is why no one ever escapes from Beast Island. <laughs> It's a Tyro. So it is. As if we didn't have enough problems. Oh, I don't think he'll be any problem. He's a friend of mine. Isn't that right, Tyro? Hop aboard. Don't worry. She'll meet you back at Whispering Woods. Oh, that's wonderful. Then I'll be able to tell Adora I'm going to join the rebellion, too. I'm glad to hear that, Lonnie. And thank you. You'll have to tell me how you made friends with that Tyro. It must be quite a story. Ugh. 
I must say, friends come in strange shapes. But aren't we lucky to have them? Like that. 